ASRock motherboard. I always love ASRock. I mean, they're people that have actually left ASUS uh, quite a few years ago now, but they started up their own company. And I've never had any problems with these so far. They've all been great. Awesome features for the price. But this model in particular is the FM2A85X Extreme 4M. All the different languages on the side. This one is Micro ATX. It is socket FM2. It is four DDR3 ports up to 2600 plus with an overclock obviously. Two PCI Express Gen 2 times 16 slots and one PCI Express Gen 2 times one slot. One PCI slot, 7.1 channel integrated audio. 7 serial ATA 3 ports, 1 eSATA port, 4 USB 3s, and 10 USB 2s. And on the back, they just go over all their all their great stuff they got. Which you would typically find. Inside, we just have a little pamphlet here. Looks like a lot of stuff that you'll find on the back of the box. And some fancy pictures. We've got our setup guide and our quick installation guide. And our driver CD as well, which I never really recommend using. Pretty much toss it. Go online and get the latest drivers because Chances are them on there could be way outdated. And we have our input output shield here, which has everything labeled by color, and it is also a nice black, if you can see that, which goes along with the case very well. And we have a pair of SATA cables here, and we have another pair pair and these are black as well which go along with the system even the power supply is black put that up here get her out another anti-static bag slide it on out and here we have the motherboard sit in a nice foam insert here. Some nice padding. And there it is, the ASRock FM2A85X Extreme 4M. And on the back we just have our standard 7.1 channel audio. We have USB 2.0s there. We have your gigabit ethernet. We have our eSATA. Two more USB 2.0s. We have a HDMI output, a DVI output, a VGA output, and two USB 3s, and also your uh, PS2 mouse or keyboard combo port. On the back we have just a little reinforcement around your CPU area just to make sure the board is nice and stiff which holds the mounting brackets where your CPU cooler will mount to. And here we have our two Gen 2 PCI Express 16 lanes, our Gen 2 PCI Express 1, and then your just regular PCI slot, our CMOS battery, and up here in the CPU area we have our 8-pin power connector, our socket FM2 socket, and here we have our DIMM slots 1, 2, 3, and 4 for our DDR3 memory. On the side here we have our standard 24 pin ATX connector. And down here we have our 7 SATA 3 ports. Which is one thing that is actually nice about AMD is you get more SATA 3 ports versus an Intel, Intel board which is actually natively supported by Intel. I believe so anyways. Um, our HD audio connector which goes to the top of the case would connect right there. We have a uh, parallel 
connector here if you have a cable for that, for some old school printer or CNC device, laser cutting, things like that. Some of them will use something like that. And we have USB headers here, USB 2.0. Here we have a USB 3.0 header. And then up on top, which is kind of neat, we have two CPU fan headers. We have a 4-pin fan 1 and a 4-pin fan 2 header. Oh, excuse me, that is a 3-pin. 4-pin fan 1 and 3-pin fan 2. Like if you have like a all-in-one unit or something, it has two fans, 120 millimeter radiator, you can actually plug both fans in separately. Or however you would prefer. We also have a chassis fan up here in the top left of the board. And Another fan here, another chassis fan header, four pin as well. And down here we have our old school piecer, uh, piecer, <laughs> speaker connector. You can listen to your beep codes for diagnostics, as this board does not have any uh, diagnostics LED panel or anything to get diagnostics codes off of. So the speaker can come in handy if you are troubleshooting. But that about covers it for the ASRock FM2A85X Extreme 4M motherboard.